people, so today we are going to continue talking about the time. Class before, we talked about the time. Para contextualizarse con el tema de la hora, acuérdense que en un video anterior hablamos sobre cómo decir la hora en inglés. But today we are going to continue talking about some expressions about time. First of all, we are going to express about some vocabulary later about some grammar structures. The first word that I would like you to practice is the word party. If you can see, it's like party. Party is good. Or you say party. Okay, that is party. Fiesta. Okay? Another word that we are going to take or we are going to consider is the word concert. Concert. Who's your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Bruno Mars. Who's your favorite singer? So, concert. Concierto. Another word is match. So you could say that it's possible to go to, to a game, to a game, un juego. But when you say the word match, it's because you go to a soccer match, vas al, al encuentro deportivo, al partido. Well, the word movie. Look at this, movie. I think that you are familiar with the word movie. Movie, it's not movie, eh? it's movie. That is regarding to películas. Ir a ver películas. Go to a theater. Okay, another word is the word meeting. Look at this. Meeting. If you have the word meeting, meet is a verb that is reunirse. Meeting is the event that is reunión, encuentro. Okay? Now, the last one that I would like you to consider is the word dinner. When you say dinner, it's because you go to eat with someone with your relatives, with your family, with your friends, but you go to it. Now we are going to talk about the days of the week. The days of the week are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now let's repeat at home. Now, having the vocabulary clear, we are going to talk about the grammar. So, the classic question. So, what time is it? That's the classic question. What time is it? That is the question. ¿Qué hora es? It's not possible to say, what time is it? No. That is not possible. So, in that case, it's necessary to say, what time is it? Then, another question. What time is the concert? Could say the example. What time is the concert? Oh my God, question mark. What time is the concert? So. In that case, what time is the concert is okay, or it's also possible to say what time is the concert in that case is excellent. So, and you say the concert is, or it's possible to say it's at 7 p.m. Example, look at this word, at. When you use at, it's because you are talking about days. 
si usas ad, es porque estás hablando de días. Another question that is also possible to say is what day is the party? We are going to talk about party. So, what day is the party? As I told you, what day is, you see, is the party. That's perfect, but it's also possible to say what day is the party to do the contraction, hacer la contracción en este caso, es perfecto. But we are not going to say at, because when we say at, we are talking about time. In that case, we are talking about the day, remember the days of the week. So we say, uh, it's on, on, Friday. It's on Friday. So in that case, you are using on because you are referring to a day. Okay? So what day is the party? It's on Friday. And remember the capital letter in the day of the week on Friday. So another question. When? When's the mm, movie when's the movie if you say when's the movie so you could say it's well when when is in general cuando estamos diciendo when estamos hablando del día de hora de fecha en general so when's the movie it's on you could say monday look at this on Monday at 7 p.m. Look at this. In this case, we use on because of the Monday, but at the same time, we use at because of the time. Okay. Recuerden eh, suscribirse al canal, hacerle like, manita arriba, preguntas si te gustan. Y mucho ánimo, sigamos aprendiendo. Super nice to have you here. Bye, bye.